How's it going everyone? Chips here with another how to build video. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different, a little bit more fun. We are going to be building a coffee shop for your base. If you have maybe like a modern base with some modern looking buildings, this would definitely fit in there. It's not only for show though, you could also use it for crafting recipes, kibble, etc. that kind of stuff. And I based this build off of a local Dutch Bros coffee around where I live. If you don't know what that is, it's a west coast kind of coffee drink chain. Uh, type of place that's super good, super cool. Um, so yeah, any West Coast people probably know what I'm talking about when they see this build. But one last thing guys, if you do enjoy the video, if you do enjoy the build, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me a comment on what you thought about the build in the video. And of course, if you'd like, subscribe for some more builds in the future. So with all of that said and all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right guys, so first things first, let's go ahead and put down our foundation. So we're gonna do a four by five stone kind of rectangle shape here. So do four rows of five stone foundations. Now with that complete, we're gonna go ahead and get back in and add one more stone foundation on this corner, which will be kind of our entryway and also our drive through window. And that will wrap up the foundation of the building. But remember, this is just the building foundation. We do need to leave a little extra space to include the patio that goes around it. So guys, if you need, go ahead and pause now and copy the foundation. Now on what is the back side of the building, add two thatch foundations that you will be using for a guide. Go ahead and get out a metal irrigation pipe intersection. You can also use stone and place it in between those two foundations and not quite halfway on it, maybe like a little bit less than halfway. Pick up those thatch foundations and you should have it looking something like that. It's almost halfway on them. Go ahead and add another straight irrigation pipe right here, which will poke out a little bit past that first foundation into the second foundation, which is what we want. So on the same side of the build, we're going to add a flipped wooden doorway on this corner and then obviously we will also put a wooden door in its place so that is on the back right corner of the build so go back in and we're going to add three flipped wooden walls on top of it and then on these other three foundations next to it we will place four flipped wooden walls next come over here to this side and again place four flipped wooden walls along this one foundation zip over to the other side and do the same thing still on the back side here we're going to add four more stone foundations and this is basically going to be where we keep our water and our electric sources so we're going to go ahead and fence this in with three high metal railings on each foundation Now back on the side, let's go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation on top of our stone foundation. Then we're going to snap a metal pillar to that wooden fence foundation and add three more metal pillars on top of that. Should give us something like this. Then go ahead and go to the other side and repeat this process. Back on this side, we're going to go ahead and add four high adobe walls on this first foundation. Now make sure you're not snapping into the fence foundation. Make sure you're putting it on the stone foundation. So four high adobe walls there. And then right here, we're gonna add two rows of five high adobe walls. Now let's go ahead and let's place another wooden fence foundation along that line right there. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snap five high metal pillars to the edge of that wooden fence foundation. We should get something that looks like that. Then we're gonna come back in here and on this spot we're gonna place a stone door frame and we're also going to place a reinforced door in that gap. Then we're just going to take this 
to seven high total, so put six stone walls there. So that takes us to five high, and let's add two more to get to seven high. Now on this spot, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a stone window frame. And in that window frame, we're gonna put a greenhouse window. And then again, let's add seven, or well, let's add six stone walls to take it to seven high. Now here on the front, count two foundations in and again place another wooden fence foundation along that line. And then go ahead, once you have that placed, and snap seven metal pillars to that fence foundation. All right, now that we have those snapped, let's go back in here and we're going to place seven high stone walls on both of these foundations. Coming over here, we're gonna place a greenhouse wall on this middle foundation. And then we're just gonna take this entire, these three foundations, we're gonna take them to five high using adobe walls for the remainder. So five there, four here, and then five on the other foundation. On this side, we will first place an adobe window frame here on the corner and go ahead and add a greenhouse window into there. Now let's take this to five high using four adobe walls. On the next foundation, place a greenhouse wall and again, four adobe walls to take it to five high. This foundation adds simply five more adobe walls and on the last foundation, we're going to do four adobe walls, the same as on the other side of the building. Be sure that you're snapping to the foundation itself and not the fence foundation that we use for those pillars. Let's go ahead and start building our roof. So first, add two metal ceilings on top of these stone walls. And then you're going to build down from the metal ceiling two stone walls on each side. Next, we'll add metal ceilings on top of this level of the adobe walls. So go ahead and fill this in. And then we will add an adobe wall hanging down from each of these metal ceilings. And with that complete, let's go ahead and place metal ceilings on top of this level of adobe and wood walls. Make sure on this one that you are snapping them so that they line up. Now let's go ahead and build the overhang that wraps around the building. So on the second wood wall, place a metal ceiling and continue this around the entire building. Now you may need to rotate the snap point to make sure that these metal ceilings line up with each other. Continue this around until you reach the other side of the wood walls. As you place this last ceiling and rotate around the build, you'll notice a small gap between the ceiling and the wall. This is due to us placing the wood walls inside out. Just add another metal ceiling to fill the gap. Now by our drive through window, add four thatch foundations out. Then add one thatch foundation on each side of the last one. Next, snap two stone pillars on the inside of each of those foundations and go back and pick up all of the thatch foundations. Now we will add our drive-through overhang. It's very important to follow this exactly how I do it. 
Place a metal ceiling on the pillar and attach another metal ceiling to it. Now attach a metal ceiling to the overhang coming off of our building. Pick up the second metal ceiling and again attach one coming from the building. Then pick up the metal ceiling on the pillar, rotate the snap point and replace it so that it goes even with the other ones. Repeat this process on this pillar. So metal ceiling, metal ceiling, attach a metal ceiling to the building, pick up the middle one, attach it to the building, pick up the one on the pillar, and again, rotate it to attach it to the building. Now simply fill in this gap with metal ceilings. Let's now outline this entire overhang with flipped wooden walls. So go ahead and start placing them. Remember to flip the wood walls around. When you get to this corner, you will notice a gap caused by flipping the wooden walls. What we'll have to do after we place this one is we'll place another one here and another one here on the inside, making a cross effect that will fill that gap. Continue around placing flipped wooden walls on the entire overhang. When you get to the last metal ceiling, remember that we placed two, so you need to make sure you're originally snapping to the outside ceiling, like so. Then here, place another wood wall flipped here, and remember there's the gap, so you will need to place another one on that second ceiling to fill the gap. Now let's go around and add another layer of metal ceilings on top. Again, you have to rotate these to make sure that they are lined up evenly. And then remember when you get to this last spot, you might need to rotate the ceiling a little bit to get it in the right spot and you will also need to add another metal ceiling to fill that gap that we have between the wall. Let's head back over here, put three more metal ceilings in this gap and that will complete our overhang. Now at the front of the building, add another three rows of five stone foundations. This is going to create our outdoor dining space that we have at the front. On this side of the building, add eight more stone foundations, stopping just short of the area that we fenced in for our utilities. This area is gonna be our walk-up ordering window. Next, add two metal railings on this corner followed by two stone staircases, and add metal railings on top of the stairs as well. Then place two more metal railings, two more stone stairs, metal railings on top of the stairs again, and then finish off this patio area with metal railings. Head around here to our entryway and add another stone stair and another metal railing to get us inside our door. We're almost done here on the outside. Come to these greenhouse walls and place a double metal door frame. Now rotate the snap point and snap it to these new foundations that we placed so that it doesn't destroy the greenhouse wall. Do that again on this side. And then the final thing that we're going to do on the outside of the building is just go around and switch every foundation to block. This is going to give us a little bit of a different appearance than we currently have. So you see it here, you get more of that appearance rather than these, this appearance. So just go around, switch every foundation to block. I'm not going to show the whole thing for time's sake, but just switch them all. 
All right, so we're inside now. We're gonna do a few things on the inside. The first thing we're gonna do is right here, place a wooden wall and then a wooden door frame. We're not gonna put a door in it and then two more wooden walls. And then we're just going to take this whole entire thing all the way to the ceiling. And what this is gonna do is we're gonna use that kind of little hallway there in the back as just a storage room. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use metal catwalks and on the second wall we're going to snap them in this direction. So to put two on this wall and then on this side we can fit three and then on this wall we can fit three also. Make sure on this wall that they are snapping like that so they're not as far into the wall. You want them sticking out as much as possible. And we're just going to use these as kind of you know shelving um, just to add to the look. Next thing we're doing, we're gonna come through here to this door that we placed on the back, open it up, and right here in the doorway, we're gonna place our generator. So just kind of place it so that you can access it as soon as you open the door. And you'll see you should be able to come over here, you should be able to access it, and you should be able to still open and close the door to where it does not interfere with the door being able to open and close. And then next, just get a straight electrical cable, and you have to kind of just trust that it's snapping to it but it will snap to it. Just place it right here and then get an electrical box and place it right there. That's all we're gonna do with that. So let's go around the back again. You'll see it's not sticking through the fence. And then if you remember where we placed that intersection um, irrigation pipe, we are now gonna place some water reservoirs attached to it. So just place two of those right here and these would just be used to provide water to our industrial cooker. And then the last thing I'm gonna do back here is I'm going to add a windmill right here. You have to place it in this direction to make sure that it's facing the proper way. Um, this is completely optional. We are not even going to be using it to power anything. I am only placing this because the Dutch, you know, Dutch Bros that I based this build off of, their logo is a windmill. So I thought it would be neat to add a windmill into the build. This is completely optional, you do not have to do it. Back inside now, we're going to place our various different items that we'll be using to make our drinks and our recipes and all of that. So first, let's place an industrial cooker onto that metal pipe that we placed earlier. And then right here, we can place a, a grill right here. It's a pretty good spot for it. Um, that we'll need to you know, cook meat, obviously. And then in this other corner, we will place a chem bench, just in case you were to want to uh, create narcotics or stimulants. And then next to the chem bench, we are going to place a preserving bin for making jerky. And then we will place four fridges next to that for you know, keeping everything cool and good to go. So that does it for the build guys. All we have left to do is the paint scheme and to add some cosmetic decorations. But the paint scheme is popping up now. You can go ahead and pause the video and write down the paint scheme. So there you have it everyone. This is our build with the finished paint scheme applied. All that I'm gonna do now is throw in some cosmetic decorations and we can check out the final product. All right, everyone, so we're back inside. I've done some decorating, as you can see. We'll just kind of go through it real quick. So right when you come in here and you have your drive through window, I added a vessel that we can use as a, essentially a tip jar for our employee there. Um, I added some tables here to use as dividers just to kind of separate the kitchen from the front area. And then at our walk-up window, we have another vessel for a tip jar. And then up here, I added a bunch of storage chests and painted them white to kind of get the look of cabinetry above all of our kitchen appliances. And then as we come through this door, 
We added a beer barrel back here. If you would like to make beer, it's attached to the water. And then a ton of storage. Uh, storage up here, storage down there. You can store a lot of stuff in here. And then back outside, I just added some benches and some tables and painted them navy for our lovely customers to have a place to sit while they enjoy their beverages. That is going to be it though for this build guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the build and I hope you get good use out of it. Do me a favor, if you did enjoy the video and you do plan on using this build, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave me some comments on what you think and of course guys subscribe for future videos. Also check out the link in the description below for my Twitter page. I would love for you to send me pictures of this build on your arc. Thank you guys for watching. Get to building.